Hello everybody. Welcome to another edition of the PSD to CSS Online video tutorial series. My name is Sean and today we're going to look at a new feature for making custom videos uh, players for your website. Um, you uh, take any video that you've uh, made, however, with a video camera, by screen capture, whatever, um, you'd like to put it in your website. Certainly you can use YouTube um, but uh, or, or any of the other uh, uh, available sites like that, but um, but if you want to make your own custom video player with your own your own design for play button and stop and rewind and and a frame, uh, if you want it to be your player, I have unlimited length videos, for example. Um, then uh, then this is what uh, you can do. No, you don't have to write any code at all. Here, I will show you how it works. So here uh, here's a, a design for a page. Um, it's a uh, obviously very graphical. Um, as a lot of uh, the PSD to CSS Online examples are. Um, here is our video player. And just like anything else in, uh, in PSD to CSS Online, uh, the trick is how you name your layers. And, uh, and uh, the, the code that's generated for you will, will have special uh, functions based on the layer names. So this big gray box here is called V1 underscore video. Underscore video is the, is the main part of the new feature. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so uh, you can make it any size you want. You can even make it whatever shape you want, and uh, if the video fits in that shape, it'll work. Um, obviously, put it anywhere on the screen that you want. Um, you can see here we've got a uh, a uh, kind of a frame that is over the top of the video to some degree, kind of a grungy frame. Uh, that works fine. You can put anything you want on top of your video. You can put buttons on top of your video if you want, and uh, anything anything you want um, if you want to. Uh, the other uh, important uh, layer names here are underscore play, underscore rewind, and underscore pause. So you can see here everything starts with V1, so it knows we're talking about this video. Um, these are links and links over, so you, these are, these, I'm sorry, these down here are play and rewind and pause. Um, so we have a link and link over, so we have mouse over events, but because of the uh, underscore play and rewind and pause, um, these will, will be the controls for this video. So that's it. There's nothing else to do. You don't have to write any code. You don't have to know anything about Flash or anything like that. Well, later you'll need an FLV file, but uh, um, those are real easy to get converted for you for free on the web. I'll show you how to do that too. So uh, here's our, our PSD file. We will save it and uh, head over to PSD to CSS Online. Um, by default, oh, here we go. I'll make this for you. Um, what, what uh, by default, it's going to make a, uh, a video for you that uh, and and put a placeholder video in there for you. So um, only takes a moment to build. It's taking apart that uh, PSD file. It's using these uh, these layer names to uh, generate the appropriate code. Um, shouldn't take too long. It's not a very big file. Um, so. Any second now, um, but yeah, you can draw whatever you want for these buttons. That's that's uh, my favorite part about it. You can make the controls look like anything you want. These particular controls, I drew on a piece of paper with a pencil and and took a picture of them and then uh, imported them into this Photoshop design. Um, okay, here we go. It's done. So, uh, like normal uh, PSC to CSS Online uh, generated code, you can I host it for you for 24 hours. You can view it. So there you go. That's the uh, Hi, that's the I'm page Sean. that we here. Uh, welcome to. I'll pause it. So uh, this is the page we drew. As you can see, it's it looks uh, identical. I had uh, a couple of text areas here that I had uh, turned off, and you can see in the page there are text areas. A text there and some text here. Um, some more text under here. The mouse overs for my buttons work, and play works. Hi, I'm Sean. Pause. Uh, welcome to Play the placeholder video. Pause. Rewind. Pause. Hi, I'm Sean. There. Uh, welcome to the placeholder video for the. So, uh, so you can see I didn't write any code for that at all, and uh, it's done. It works. It looks exactly like our Photoshop design. Um, now uh, I'll show you quickly how we can uh, put your own your own video in there, replace that one. Uh, we'll download the generated code, the zip file. This is uh, the zip file that has all the generated code. Copies it to my desktop. Here, let's get this out of the way. Um, I currently have uh, something called MAMP 
running on my Mac here. It uh, it's a it's a web server. It's Apache and uh, PHP and MySQL. Um, so it makes it real easy to uh, to do development. It's quick. I don't have to worry about a service provider being up or FTP or anything. Um, so uh, so here is a folder on, running on my local host machine it's called HTML. You can see there's nothing in it right now. I will go to uh, here. You can see uh, the uh, the shell, um, and we're sitting in my applications MAMP. This, this is uh, where the, the folder that, it, that the web server on my machine will run this out of. So I'm just going to unzip the, uh, the zip file. There we go. Unzip the zip file exactly the way it was sent by PSD to CSS Online. That looks familiar, uh, right? I'm so Sean. This, uh, is, this is actually running from uh, my web server now, obviously. So the idea is I want to swap out this uh, FLB file. So uh, there's tons of websites online that will take a... Uh, uh, any kind of video file and change it to some other kind of video file and a lot of them are free most of them are free um, so here let's just we'll just make a quick video I'll use photo booth um, gonna make a video that's me I'll record there we go this is our example video that I'm making right now in front of everybody there we go stop okay so I can just drag that to my desktop which is very cool about photo booth. And then we go to this website. This particular one is onlinevideoconverter.com. We'll click here to upload. Movie1.move. There we go. It's uploading the, the uh, video that I just made. And now I can choose what format I want to make. You want to make an FLV file. FLV. I don't know what checking the links means. It doesn't make any sense. But, uh, but it's a cool website and it's free. So you know, check it out, this one or any of the other ones, but uh, this one works pretty good. Even if checking the links doesn't make any sense. Uh, there's tools you can download for free that'll do it too from the command line if you're brave enough. Uh, M M Encoder is one, a very, very good one with zillions of options. Uh, FFmpeg is another. Um, I, I'll have links of all these in the tutorials. But uh, those are command line argument, uh, command line uh, uh, converters. Um, and there's graphical front ends for them too, so uh, lots of different ways to change videos into uh, FLV files. Heck, you can upload it to YouTube and let them do the conversion and then uh, use some of these tools will uh, will grab the FLV file for you out of uh, YouTube. So this shouldn't take too much longer. It's a pretty short video. Hope I'm not over my 10 minutes yet for YouTube. I like YouTube. I mean, it's uh, this is a neat feature of the video player, but uh, YouTube is nice because people can search and find your videos, so it's not the end-all, the be-all thing. It's a nice way to make custom videos, but uh, YouTube has its advantages, that's for sure. Okay, any time now, folks. And we're still waiting. Okay, up to eight minutes. It's better finish quick. <laughs> I already did it once. Do I still have it on the... No, I don't. This was a brand new video, so it's a different one. There we go. Oh, there's two videos to be done before mine. It took that long to get to figure this out. Okay, here we go. Processing... 100%. There we go. Okay, uh, download. So it's downloading. See, it's movie underscore one FLV. And uh, so we'll go back to uh, our terminal here. The FLV file that we asked for is V1. You may recall in the uh, in the Photoshop file, we named everything V1 underscore video, V1, V1, V1. So the code generator made a V1.FLV file for us. So what I'm going to do is uh, copy from the desktop this new file that was just made for us, movie underscore one dot FLV. And I'm going to copy it here and call it V1.FLV. I'm going to copy it over my v1.flv file. There we go. Done. We'll go back and take a look at this again. Rewind. And sure enough... There we go. This is our example video that I'm making right now. That's the one I made, right? Rewind again. Play it again. There we go. This is our example video that I'm making right now. So there you go. That's what it is. Uh, I got exactly 20 seconds left in my 10 minutes for, for uh, YouTube. Uh, that's the new custom video feature. Check out the documentation and the example files at uh, PSD to CSS Online. Thanks.